Hello everyone. Today I am going to start MQTT tutorials. This is the course outline. Firstly, I will talk about what is MQTT. After that, we will see some unique properties of MQTT, which is hardly find out in any other protocols. Thereafter, we will see brief story of MQTT. And then we will look MQTT architecture. And then we will dive into the MQTT message format and what is quality of service. Now, let's start with what is MQTT. MQTT is machine to machine Internet of Thing connectivity protocol. It was designed as an extremely lightweight publish subscribe messaging transport. It is useful for connection with remote location where network bandwidth is at premium. These characteristics make it ideal for use in many situations, including constant environment, such as for communication in machine to machine and Internet of Things context. The protocol runs over TCP IP or over other network protocol that provide lossless and bidirectional connections. So, the MQTT has unique features to be noted down. You can hardly find in other protocols. Like as I said before, it is a machine to machine protocol. It is designed as a lightweight messaging protocols that use is publish subscribe operation to exchange data between client and server. It does not require that the client and the publisher are connected at the same time. It is fast in data transmission, just like messenger and WhatsApp message delivery is. That's it's a real time. Clients subscribe to an narrow selection of topics and only receive the information they are looking for. That's why MQTT is one of the most commonly used protocol in IoT projects. Now, before going further, let's see the brief history of MQTT. MQTT was invented by Dr. Andy Stanford Clark of IBM and Arlen Nipper of Arcom, which is now Erotech. The version, the previous ver protocol version 3.1 and 3.1.1 was made available under MQTT.org. In 2014, MQTT was adopted and published as an official standard by OASIS. As such, OASIS has become the new home for the development of MQTT. The OASIS technical community is tasked with the further development of MQTT. Version 3.1.1 of MQTT is backward compatible with 3.1 and brought only minor changes, just like changes restricted to the connect message and clarification of version 3.1 that is uh, mostly editorial changes now there is a recent version mqtt version 5.0 which is the successor of mqtt 3.1.1 so now you are thinking why not the version 4 there is an interesting fact behind this if you want to know then let me know in the comment box Mostly important, MQTT version 5.0 is not backward compatible like version 3.1.1. Obviously, too many new things are introduced, so existing implementation have to be revisited. According to the specification, MQTT version 5.0 adds a significant number of new features to MQTT while keeping much more of code in the place. The major functional objectives are enhancement for scalability and large scale system in respect to setup with thousands and millions of devices, improved error reporting, and of course performance improvement and improved support for small clients. So now in the next tutorial we are going to we will going to see the MQTT architecture and also is how it works. Okay, thank you.